This is Sonic, and you're watching JD Frank 20. Yeah, look at these Sonic 2 leaks again. Shoutouts to Sonor for this one. Just found out on the recent website, there will be two more trailers coming for Sonic 3 movie, as stated right here by the BBFC. And the rating is rated PG. Oh, that's going to upset a lot of Sonic fans. We'll get to that in a minute. But yeah, here are the uh, trailers right here as their estimated uh, times, which will be a minute and a half, a minute and two and a half minutes. We've already gotten the first trailer as we got showcased uh, weeks ago. Now, all of a sudden, we're realizing, okay, what what's the second and third trailer going to be? All I know is for the second and third trailer, we better not get a recap of what we've already seen. We better get new content, obviously. The final trailer would have to come out most likely in late November, if I had to guess. Shadow's already cool already. I mean, let's be real. I mean, the way he was showcasing that first trailer was badass. I mean, Keanu Reeves, yeah, he only said one line, but it got the job done. It's the first trailer. And of course, you know, Shadow is being billed as the primary antagonist. He's out for vengeance because of what happened to Maria. Again, we don't even know what's going to happen to Tom. He might be incapacitated at best, and then he'll come back late in the movie. You know, this and that. Again, there's so many variables you know, in Sonic 3 movie, I mean, there's a reason why people like theory crafting that series. But again, by having the movie PG, more than likely Maria's death is going to be off screen. You know, obviously, I mean, the lab probably exploded, as you saw right there, as Professor Gerald and Shadow were in agony, as gun soldiers surrounded the area. So more than likely, Maria didn't die via a gunshot, which explains the body bag scene. And again, they could always do a flashback scene so you don't have to shoot, show you the whole grues gruesome image. So it's best to keep it PG safe. I mean, the first two movies were PG. Keep that trend going. And I honestly think that's why you had delays because, again, when you're trying to get a movie PG, you have to take out certain scenes. There was also that sequence. There used to be a, like, secondary animal villain who was, like, oh. locked up in, like, the government, um, secret government base. And then Robotnik... Um, in order to basically seize control of the government stuff like gives that creature the means to escape and then it rampages through the through the base and kills everybody except for robotnik who's inside of like an indestructible cage <laughs> but we ended up cutting down cutting yeah. out that entire subplot and that particular bloody horror movie sequence even though it would have been great that was going to be our you know dr octopus waking up in the uh, emergency room when you're trying to get a movie pg you have to take out certain scenes out of a movie because it might be PG-13 uh, oriented and they want to take it out out of the main version of the movie and put it in the director's cut which explains so many delays and of course that explains so much everyone let me know what y'all think about this and I gotta go peace out